Hi, this is Zaina Carver, and I thought I would just explain a little bit about thyroid medications to those who are new to taking thyroid medication. The first medication I want to talk about is called levothyroxine or Synthroid. So both of these medications are similar in the fact that they're a type of T4 or thyroxine medication, L-thyroxine, but levothyroxine is the generic form, so it's cheaper, usually about $10 for a bottle of 30 with most insurance um, types. And Synthroid is about $30, it's the brand name. These medications are easy to take, they're color coded, so it's easy to know that you're getting the correct dose. But they do also contain fillers. And there are some people, especially people that have an issue with their thyroid, that might be sensitive to the dyes or the fillers. So if you find that you notice some new symptoms, maybe a few days or a week after taking your thyroid medication, um, for instance, allergies or strange rashes or headaches, it could be related to the dyes or the fillers in the medication. And there was one dye or filler that I reacted to. It was one of the yellow dyes. I did fine with the 175 micrograms, 150, 137. It was either the 125 or 120, one of the yellow dyes that I reacted to. So the first thing that my doctor did was switch me to a dose of 50, which is a dye-free dose. Um, but with those you have to take, I had to take two and a half to get to 125. So I want to tell you about another option, and this is called Tyrosint. This is made in Switzerland. Not every doctor has heard about Tyrosint, but it is a great option for people who have allergies because it just contains a glycerin capsule. There's no dyes, there's no colors, there's nothing to it. And I wanted to tell you about my experience. Going from the same dose, the 137 on Synthroid to Tyrosint, I felt much better. I absorbed my medication better, my lab work improved, my TSH went down and I just all around felt better. Now another medication that your doctor might order, um, particularly if you don't feel well on a T4 medication or still have hypothyroid symptoms, is called Cytomel or Lyothyronine Sodium. And this is a T3 type of medication, so it's much more potent than T4 and it has a shorter half-life, about a day compared to seven days for T4. So it doesn't take very much. And this was ordered for me after dropping my T4, um, T3 was ordered 10 micrograms per day to be taken at different times during the day, one pill in the morning and one in the afternoon. And for whatever reason, I couldn't remember the afternoon dose. So I was getting just one dose in the morning. But what I noticed is that I would feel overstimulated in the late morning. And then by the afternoon, I would completely crash and just want to take a nap. So when I discussed this, I was told to split the dose, cut the dose in half, um, but that's very hard to do with these tiny little tablets. I'll show you what they look like. There's no line or anything down the center. They're incredibly small, hard little tablets to split in half. I wasn't very good about splitting them and taking them in different doses. So eventually, a different doctor switched me to an extended release T3 in a lower dose. So this is three micrograms instead of five. But with this extended release form, it just gave me nice, consistent energy throughout the day. There was no crash in the afternoon, and that combination really worked well for me. So I want to mention a couple of options that I don't have experience with, and that would be uh, natural thyroids such as Armor, West Thyroid, Nature Thyroid is another brand. I did ask for these with uh, different doctors, and I was told either they weren't comfortable ordering those medications or they didn't believe that the dose was consistent, that it was as well standardized as Lavoxyl or Synthroid. And when I looked into them, that wasn't the case. In fact, um, Armour had a better track record than Synthroid when I compared, and they were both USP standardized. But they're correct in the fact that it's not appropriate for me because nature, or natural thyroid also contains thyroglobulin, which is used as a marker uh, for thyroid testing. So not a good option for me, but it is available. And some people feel great with a higher amount of T3. Another option is a supplement called Thyragold. This is a sheep extract that can be ordered. And I've heard excellent things about it on discussion boards, so I just wanted to mention it. And lastly, I just wanted to say that a good doctor will explore, help you to explore other options if you're not 
feeling completely well on a T4 medication. And I want you to know that there are other options. So if you don't feel great on Lavoxyl or Synthroid, there are other types of T4 or maybe a small amount of T3, but there's a lot to be said for optimizing your ratio and finding the correct type of medication. It can make a world of difference. I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.